I'm Andrew with Baker's Gas. Uh, we're back here again today uh, for part two on the ESAB 205 ACDC Rebel. Um, so John was with us on the first video, gave us a lot of good insight. Um, he, we went through all three processes, MIG, TIG, and stick. Um, and he, he went into in depth on a lot of stuff. We're gonna link that video below this one. But today I wanted to talk about uh, what everybody's been kind of craving about on this was that it's an AC DC unit. So as we all know, this 205 has been talked about for over a year now. Um, and then Miller launches a 220 AC DC welder, uh, the Multimatic 220. And then ESAB punches this thing out right about the same time. So we're gonna go through, and what I'm gonna highlight today is the AC process on uh, TIG welding. Um, so if we flip the machine on here, I'm just gonna talk about some, uh, <clears throat> what I liked about it um, and how it welds. I mean, really, it's, uh, it is a nice unit. Uh, John pointed out some different things that I'm gonna also touch on to uh, that kind of makes sense. So right now, if you go back to home on the home screen, you can see they got Smart MIG, MIG, Flux Core Stick, DC TIG, AC TIG, your settings and your manual. So we're gonna go AC TIG. Make sure our leads are set up right. So, got it set at 120 amps, 60 on the balance. And, uh, well, I mean, that's just a general setting that we came up with. If you go into the parameter side of things, we can go into what frequency you're at. I had it set at 200 hertz. Let's just turn it down. We'll go down to, go down to one. So you can see the fine tune adjustment on this machine. I mean, it's not jumping five, it's, it's going down. So it's very fine tuned, but it's also very nice. Now this thing will do up to 400 Hertz. Let's set that. We'll go back to this. All right, back to 120. So <clears throat> let's look well with it and then I'll uh, discuss what we want to talk about. We'll change some stuff around after I will. What I like about this new, this Rebel 2 is that they put the old style Heliarc handle on there, the TIG torch. So it's a WP-17, WP-17 consumables, nothing special, nothing nothing new. Um, all right, let's give it a shot here. Too bad. <clears throat> right in here, it's, it's laying down pretty good. Bump up the amper. Really good. What I like about it, and what about uh, about this unit compared to the other, the Miller unit, um, or other competitive units, is that you can have all. You, you know, there's a wide variety of things that you can do with this. So. I can change the balance 60 to 90. I can change the, the frequency, you know, down from 25 all the way up to 400 on the hertz. So it, it, it's got a lot of um, flexibility, and we can go up to, you know, we can go up to 205 amps. I mean, that's that's amazing. It's all in one one unit like this. I mean, that's that's pretty amazing for the output on this little guy. Um, one thing I don't care much for is the fan. It's really loud, but other than that, it's not too bad. So, um, Mm -hmm. 
just got warmed up. So, all I did there was just change amperage, change the bandwidth. So, now what we want to do on this and what I wanted to kind of highlight was we we'll go back up to parameters. higher pitch um, just a beautiful thing that you can change that you have the ability to change it so what it's doing is taking your arc coming off your tungsten and narrowing it down so it's 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 sharpening your arc basically and making it more direct um, better penetration um, sometimes it looks good you know you can make it look better the, the appearance looks better um, but where it outstands other machines I went up to 250 on the Hertz. We're, no other machine will do that unless you get into the bigger, you know, your your, your original, your dynasties, um, and your uh, aspects 375. If you get it up to that, you can change that. But nobody's launched a machine this small and been able to do that. Very cool. Um, I think it welds great on aluminum. Um, personally, I like the. I like the art characteristic, it, it welds nice. I mean, I got no complaints on the AC output on this thing. Uh, the only thing I do have a complaint about um, is I'm not a fan of the the MIG gun that comes with this. Uh, I, I just don't like it. But that's just my personal preference, and uh, I could be biased one way or another. But all in all, it's a great unit. Well, thanks for watching my video. Uh, subscribe to our channel on YouTube, and... If you want to see anything or hear anything more about this machine, leave your comments below. Uh, we'd like to hear them all. Uh, if I missed anything, please let me know. I'm sure you guys will. And uh, thanks for watching.